Well, if you're from Putnam County, surely you know his name, and it's pretty likely that if you have any connections with high school basketball over the past half century, you know the name Dick Cordercracks as well. Today's OIO Faith on the Field segment takes us to the Kaleida High School Gymnasium, which earlier this month was named the Richard Cordercracks Gymnasium. 82-year-old Dick Cordercracks, the winningest coach in Ohio boys basketball history. He garnered 890 victories and 371 losses over his 56 years as a high school coach. And when Jennifer Beck caught up with him at the gymnasium naming ceremony, he continually commented that he believes God wants us to serve as positive role models for the next generation, and he hopes and prays that his life will be seen as that. I just never anticipated anything like this happening. You know, when you talk about 58 years, that's a long time in your life. And a lot of things can happen during that time. So what I appreciate is God. He gave me the longevity and the health in order to do it. I appreciate my late wife, Donna. She passed away six years ago. My immediate family of eight children, because they allowed me to be away from them more than what I could have or should have. And then I appreciate my basketball family. I got to know a lot of good kids and a lot of good coaches. And I just hope I was the right role model for them so that they could be the best they can be in their life. Coach Quartercrack certainly uh, had a lot of people in his life for 56 years coaching. Uh, his wife, who has passed, was such a great supporter of him as well. Always wore that maroon jacket for her. Um, but we certainly uh, appreciate all his service to the community. Certainly, he was a, a great example of putting God first and the way he continually gave back and continues to give back is certainly a, an example we can all strive for. No question. Well, 